Okay, so <clears throat> now we have the code worked out so that when we click the go button, our actor says get ready for fractals like he always or she always does. And now the cool part is you look here at choice. Every time a number pops up correctly, the turtle in this example says the right number. So three, he says three, two, he says two. Two again, two again. So what we know from observing this is that our code over here is working correctly. Because what we've told the computer to do is that we're randomly picking choice between one, two, or three. And if choice is above two, which would be three, we say three. Otherwise, if choice is above one, which would make it two, then you say two. And if it's also not that, that means the only option left is one, so it says one. So right now, all the code's doing great. So now the next part is, okay, well, now instead of having the actor say these numbers and just print them out on screen, we want the actor to move towards either the orange, the pink, or the blue ball if he's chosen or she's chosen to move in that direction. So now it's kind of the hardest part of this, which is actually getting this thing to move in the right direction. Um, and to understand that, I'm going to show you a picture. So this picture right here is a little tiny drawing, but it's an example of how we would change something starting at point A to go to point B. So pretend that our turtle is standing on point A, and we pick like the orange ball, which is at point B. So the turtle wants to jump towards that orange ball. So go from A to B, right? That means that instead of being at A, what the turtle would want to go towards is it would want to change its position from A to its original position, but now going towards this one would be adding B minus A. So that would take its original position A, and A would get subtracted from that, but also B would get added to it. So your final position would be at B. So hypothetically, say that the turtle starts at point zero, right? So A is equal to zero. And the turtle wants to go to point B, and point B is like five. So right now the turtle is at A, which is at zero, and it wants to go towards B, which is at five. So 0 plus 5 minus 0 is just 5, right? So it would jump right onto that position. So this is kind of the first uh, thing we want to do for picturing how we're going to move our actor. Um, we want to use this equation. So this is really easy to do. Um, if we bring back up our example code here, so we're going to take these say statements out, get rid of those, and now let's just do a single example for uh, ball number three, right? So ball number three, I think we're saying is this guy, which is at x equals 200, y equals negative 170. So let's say if example number three is chosen, that we jump to that position here. Oh, I'm sorry, this is example number, or this is ball number one, sorry. Um, so if we choose ball number one, that means we go toward the blue ball, Blue ball is again at x equals 200, y equals negative 170. So let's make the turtle then go towards x equals 200, y equals negative 170 if number 1 is chosen. So this will only happen if choice is equal to 1. So let's start the code and see if this works so far. And look, they chose one, and he jumped right over there. So that's working. Now we can do the same thing for ball number two. Ball number two is at negative 200, negative 170. So if we choose cho choice number two, we can take the same piece of code and copy and paste it, put in here, just make this a negative 200. Now watch, if we click go again. Now if two is chosen, you jump to the pink ball, and if one is chosen, you jump to the blue ball. So you see it's jumping back and forth because when one or two comes up, it jumps to either one of those. So far, though, we haven't coded anything for the third ball. We'll do that next.